Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use specifically the scale tool. Now, as you guys can see, um, I'm in the object editor and uh, to find the scale tool, you need to go to objects and this is where you essentially scale objects. And so there's a hotkey for that as there are for all the, all the other tools. Uh, it is R. So let's say if we want to switch quickly between transform, rotation, and scale, all we have to do is press Q, W, and R. So that's pretty simple. Um, so let's get into how we actually use this. So I'm actually going to start with normal objects here. These three are normal. This one is a barricade, and this one is a structure. And these are new types of objects that have been added recently. And so I'll be experimenting with those to see how they react to scaling as well. So uh, first of all, it's pretty simple to scale something. You just uh, click on it, uh, either press the scale tool or press R to select it, and you can scale it in three axes, the normal three-dimensional plane sort of thing. So this green one here will scale it uh, back and forth. Um, you can always do Control Z to undo that. The red one will uh, scale it forward and back in that other direction, and the blue one will scale it up and down. Now, as you guys can see, it scales from the very center of the object, which is right down here in the middle. So if I scale it up and down, it's not going to go into the floor or anything. It's just going to go straight up from that point. Whereas when I scale it side to side, it is expanding from that point. So that's a good distinction to make just so that you understand how these scale a little better. So if we actually click and drag on the center box in the very middle, this white box here, we will actually scale all three of those values at once and this is really good for creating a uniform object when it's scaled up so let's say if we wanted to try to make it that big normally we'd have to do it like this like this and you can get it pretty good this way but it's not going to be perfect so if you want to get it perfectly scaled up to that huge size use the middle and do it like that now of course if you guys want to stretch these out any way you can you obviously can make some sort of custom objects like this. So if you wanted to make this like a miniature sort of thing for a dollhouse, you could come down here and scale it just about as small as you want. As you guys can see, this is freaking tiny. It's pretty much as small as a blade of grass. So I mean, you can do these things with this tool. So one last thing I want to cover is that you can use snap transform with the scale tool. So how you do that is you hold down control and then you just use it like normal and it'll drag it and scale it based on whatever size you specified and so this works for all three axes and it works for up and down and it works for all of them together so now let's start testing some of this stuff inside the actual map so I'm gonna put a player spawn right down here and essentially the scale tools will work exactly the same for all of these objects so I don't really need to show you how to use them on each of these types though I will scale them so um, I'm gonna scale this up right here I'm gonna make it quite a lot bigger and I'm actually gonna make it so that the player spawn is right inside it so you can do all sorts of cool fun stuff like this so this is large enough for a player to actually be inside so I'm gonna make this one uh, really small and I'm actually gonna make this one really big as well and I'm not going to do it evenly. I'm going to make it like really tall. And there are some reasons I'm doing this. Um, there are some glitches that have happened in the past and will potentially be happening again. Now, something that's interesting, guys, if you select multiple objects at a time, either by clicking on them and using Shift to select more than one or by outlining all of them, you can actually scale them uniformly. So essentially, if you scale them uniformly, you will be able to scale them at the same rate and so they will all be about the same size relative to each other so if you want to create something like this it's a multi object sort of thing we can actually scale them all together uh, I selected the wrong one we can scale them all together and you know make it uniform I would definitely uh, do that with those types of objects so last one I'm gonna scale is this barricade and I'm gonna duplicate it first I'll have one normal size and one scaled upwards and of course something to note about these barricades and some of these structures is the center point is not at the bottom and this is actually kind of unfortunate because um, it makes it tricky to place these and scale these so when they scale they're actually scaling from the middle not from the bottom and so it makes it so that if you put it on the ground and you scale it up 
part of the object is going to be under the ground. So just keep that in mind as well. Okay, so let's test this out. I'm going to save the map. I'll bake it just to see what it looks like. And let us test this out. Let's go in here and see what's up. So I'm probably going to have to suicide to get to the one spawn point. Okay, here I am. And let's see how this works. Okay, guys, so immediately uh, there's a few things that I've noticed. Obviously, with these objects, oh, that's super cool. The objects worked perfectly. So we've got our chair over here. Uh, the chair still breaks. It's a breakable object. We've got our little drawer here. And what's super cool about the drawer is it still opens up. So I wasn't actually sure that was going to happen, but, you know, there it is. And as you guys can see, it also has a hitbox, so I can now, like, run over top of it. These have hitboxes, too. Um, I can glitch through the legs. Okay, so the reason I can glitch through the legs is because on the normal object, the legs don't have a hitbox. So depending on the type of object you're scaling, just be aware that certain parts you can go through. Now, something that obviously happened with this structure is that uh, it didn't scale. So I scaled this up, it should have been really large, but these structure objects do not scale. Same with the barricades. As you see, we've got this barricade over here. Um, it's not breakable, which I think it normally is, and it obviously did not scale. So don't try to scale those. Um, I obviously didn't try to scale NPC, that's a new object as well. Those are not going to scale as well. So you know, keep that in mind. So I'm going to give myself a weapon, pretty sure, yeah, honey badger. And I'm going to break this. And as you guys can see, a bug has been fixed. So in the past, when you scaled something up and made it super huge, you would break it and the animation for it breaking would not scale as well. So essentially what would happen is you'd have a huge chair, you'd break it, and then a tiny chair would appear falling over down below. Thankfully, Nelson has fixed this. Uh, I wasn't quite sure if he had. I hadn't tested it in a while. And, you know, it looks like it's going to work pretty well. So there's that, um, there's that as well, and I've got only a few more things to test out. Alright, one of the last things I need to test out is having to do with navigation. So in the past, back when scaling became a new thing, um, there was a glitch with navigation, and we'll see if that still holds. So let me bake the navigation in this area, and it looks like it's been fixed. So Nelson's been doing a good job of updating and fixing things, but what used to happen in the past, per perhaps if you're using an old version of Unturned you might experience this, is that, uh, let's say, see how this um, cupboard here is super small. So if you scale something down, something large like a building, the navigation wouldn't realize it's scaled and would actually keep the original hitboxes. So if, if this wasn't fixed right now, uh, this cupboard here would actually have a hitbox for the zombies only that is larger than the cupboard itself. But this is fixed, and as you guys can see, um, it's going to be working really well. And of course, guys, um, I don't think navigation placed anything inside these poles, and I actually do have a potential fix for that. So let me show you the fix for these poles. So obviously you can go through these poles and it's not great because you know you don't want to be able to go through objects and there's a really quick fix right here. So see I've got a metal bar, metal uh, whatever it's called, I think it's a metal pole here. What you can do is actually put this metal pole inside this other sort of support for your shelf. Now obviously you, can, you can't scale the metal pole but I think it fits just about right as it is. And so we can actually have this in here so that it sort of provides a hitbox for this object. Now I'm only going to do it on this one pole. On the other ones, I'm going to try something else. So there's other items you can do this with. So we can actually use a uh, roadblock number one. This is a super useful item. Um, the reason is is because it's relatively square. And of course it's not perfectly square, but we can do all sorts of cool stuff with this. So um, I'm going to sort of create a three-dimensional object with these that'll sort of take the place of the hitbox for these poles. So, of course, this is not going to be perfect, but I think it'll do the job pretty well. So I'm actually going to have to use Snap Transform, get it halfway in there, rotate it around, and of course, since one of these sides is flat, I can make a pretty much 
an exact square out of this. This is going to be pretty much perfect. Of course, it's going to be hollow inside, but this will work for what we need it to do. So what I'm going to next do is try to attempt to put it into the very center of this pole. And this is going to be hard to do. Maybe the best way would be to look at it from the top and essentially put it in the very center of the pole. Now, of course, this object is going to be a little small, and I didn't put it in perfectly. But what we can do as well is scale it out, actually. We can, so we can use the scale tool twice to sort of fix this issue. And once we've scaled it out just a little bit, and enough so that we're satisfied, we can just leave it in there. So now we should have two temporary hitboxes. So inside this uh, big shelf here, we've got a normal hitbox over here, using uh, these house metal poles and we've got a makeshift one over here so let's test these out um, and let's see how it works alright so we're back in the world and here we go so these two should not have any hitboxes in them and as you guys can see there's nothing in here we can run right through them so these two should have hitboxes so this one oh snap it doesn't have a hitbox And this is something pretty interesting as well. I didn't know you could do this. Uh, it wasn't showing up on here at first. You can actually pick these up and place these down again. Alright, so this one doesn't have a hitbox. This one should have a hitbox. So as you guys see, um, this is actually working really well as a hitbox. You can't even tell that there's makeshift items in here. Um, you can't go into it at all. You can't glitch and Well, you can sort of see inside of here at this one angle. You probably could use H. To see inside of it a bit you can see there's like two layers here uh, you can see that a little bit but uh, it works pretty well truthfully and you know if you guys need these hitboxes feel free to make them out of other objects so anyway guys uh, hopefully you learned as much as you needed to about uh, scaling objects um, hopefully you learned a little bit more about these custom barricades and structures especially in the fact that you can deconstruct them in game and that they don't scale so anyway guys, hopefully this gives you a good idea of what you can do with some of your maps. Please feel free to comment extra video ideas in the description. I love doing those for you guys. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.